Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery. Yay, hello. I see Isabel, Susan Williams, yay. Judy Quilt, yay. Kay, good morning from Oklahoma. Leah, I never did a drunkard's path quilt. It looks difficult. It is not. It is not. Perhaps sewing, I haven't tackled one yet, but on this, doing it in the hoop is perfect. Uh, Nancy James, oh, morning all, glad I can watch live. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Karina says, hi Sue, hello. Jennifer Alexander, hi Waves. Um, let's see, Miley, oh, hi Miley, hi Miley. So good morning, Jude Messner, good morning from Jude and Miley. Miley's a puppy, a dog. <laughs> Margie, good morning. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Joyce, hello. Cindy West, good morning. Um, Linda says good morning from Tucson. Man, we've got everyone around here. Um, Sunny UK, hi, Sue and all the gang. Hello. Wanda Matheny, hi, Wanda. Susan Weehy, there you go. Waves, waves, there we go. Paula says happy to see you. Well, Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I have been up uh, and stitching and I'm going to show you guys uh, a whole bunch of things. So it's really fun. So this doesn't need to be here. This is the newest shadow box. Well, almost newest. It's up on the site though. So this is mountains and I decided to do it in shades of gray. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun. This is water and so is this. So if you wanted to do blue on it, you could. I just kept it all. Are you feeling better today? I feel awesome. I feel awesome. I'm still healing. I got a nasty, nasty scar in my arm, but it's better than cancer. So, you know, what are you going to do, right? Um, I decided to not make it completely monochrome. You could but I want a little bit of blue and I want, I wanted this, the sunrise or the sunset. Now the clouds here are stitched on just so you know. So you could use any blue in the back or keep it with gray or do it all in blues. That would be fantastic too. Alexandria, Alexandra, sorry. Hello from India. Hello. Um, I love this. I love this. So there's one, two, three, four appliques plus the sun up or down, um, five appliques and then stitching. So it's not too bad. Now, did you guys make any guesses on the new one that I'm stitching? I said the key was it's underwater. Judy Quilt. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Judy Quilt. That's the link for the... Um, mountains so you want to get it it's beautiful I can't wait to see this in different colors oh it's going to be fantastic so are you guys ready for the newest one I just finished it at 9 um, 55 I think so there we go look at this now this one is a little bit different this is how it goes um it's all stitching uh, which I just thought would be different and it was really nice to be able to pick let's see if you guys can see it the shades so there's little fishies in the background that are blue and then the shades are absolutely perfect and it looks great now I wanted to explain to you guys um, if you've never understood pull compensation Today is your lucky day because I have a little bit of pull compensation issues. Now, what does it mean? Pull compensation is a digitizing tool that makes everything just a little bit wider, a little bit wider, and covers over any gaps. So let's look right here. You guys can see this right here that's what I need pull compensation for. So what exactly is it? Well, when you're stitching, see on the computer, this is all perfectly matched up with a little bit of an overlap. When you're stitching, there's physics involved. 
and the stitches pull the fabric one way or another and it's pulled it that way so why that way if you look all my stitches are angled that way and I did that on purpose and I just didn't compensate enough for it so I there's two options for this um, let's see hold on there was another one oh yeah it's hard to see it though you can see that there is uh, fabric showing through I didn't really need to cut them out but there's a little bit more pull compensation here and especially right here so that's the physics of it so it pulls it pulls it like this kind of pulls it that way so you can um, fix it in a couple ways for digitizing you can add a little bit more pull compensation it doesn't change anything except for it's going to make it a little bit wider to cover cover it over however if you didn't design it the easiest way is to use a different stabilizer so why okay this will give it more stability i used our usual no show mesh which is really thin and i don't know how well you guys can see it but this stuff is thick it there's no drape to it it's cut away of course but thick and if i used this okay the whole thing would be stiffer but you just wash it and it'll uh it'll work and it, it'll make it a lot more difficult to pull or stretch we know let me grab a piece here Ooh, we know with our no-show mesh that we like look you can even see through it that's how thin it is but you see the stretch okay so it's not made for heavy duty uh what we want to do is this see there's hardly any and i'm pulling a lot harder so that's the key if you have registration issues because i digitize it i'm just going to add a little bit more to cover it over but you know it's not even a big deal yes you could use a sharpie or whatever but um uh i think i will you know fix it but anyways this is my turtle guy i love it it's complete embroidery this is fabric behind and i think it's awesome so i got up early to stitch this let's see susan Weehy, thank you very much good job i'm glad you like it hello 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 uh she wants to know if you can download a purchase design to an ipad uh not directly to the ipad but if you have icloud you can put it in your files and then access it from your mac or your pc i do it a lot um it it's easy because if I find something I like I pay for it and download it and it's awesome so heavy cutaway that's what this is uh, I think this is three the gauge is three I'm not 100% sure but there we go that has uh, Suzanne Woods thank you Judy bought an adapter for the iPad that you have that has a USB connector yeah you can save it to there too I had one but I just find um, the uh let's see the iCloud easier because I can access it on my PC which is where all of my embroidery programs are and it just makes it easier so either way yes you can there we go it looks like you're looking through uh the glass of an aquarium yay is the turtle up on the website this morning no this is the test stitch I just did it it took me all week to design this um then it uh yeah i don't know it was hard to make everything connect because it's all done in layers so we've got the blue kind of fishies and then you know the layers of the color some of them overlap some of them don't it's just took me a while so this was a test stitch it will be up shortly and just so you guys know it's all embroidery so there you go now i was picturing this in purples and pinks believe it or not i think with a blue a light blue background yeah it is looking through an aquarium that's actually what in my mind what i saw um i just thought it would be cool and i just did like these squiggly things and 
you know, just the plant life, whatever that's supposed to be. And then bubbles around the outside. So yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I'm really happy with it. Obviously, I have to make a few changes for the pull compensation. And I will um, recognize, recognize, I will mention to use a thick one because it's a lot of stitching. Cindy, good morning, good morning. So anyways, that will be up. The uh, mountains, which you could do these in any colors. I think blue would be awesome. Arlen is not right on right now. She agrees with using pink. I think pink going into a burgundy would be amazing. Amazing. Okay, so today, let me put these aside or I'll put them up here so we can just, you know, look at them. Let's do that. That's awesome. Today we are talking about Drunkard's Path. Now this is one of my favorite ones to do. Uh, because the history of it goes way back apparently into Egyptian times. This, um, I mean, obviously not on an <laughs> embroidery machine, but the sewing pattern. So when you do this on the sewing machine, there's only two pieces to make a block and you have to sew around the curve. Now, of course, AccuQuilt makes it easy. You can match up the triangle you know, little cut triangles and the whole bit. And I haven't tackled curves yet. I am just a chicken, I guess. So I thought, you know what? I need to do it on the embroidery machine. And then I thought, well, that looks like a watermelon to me. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of different fruits like this. But I want you to go on to omlembroidery.com and find this because I did a whole bunch of different layouts of what you can do with the Drunkard's Path. And this is why I like it so much because you can take two and put together and do a pattern and you can make like a kind of like a chain. You can make half watermelons, putting another one here. And it's... Um, awesome. There's so many ideas that you can do. So check that out just to see. Uh, you could come up with your own. Um, there's lots you can do. So another thing to remember is watermelons are not only red. I did, uh, Beatrice and I did a little bit of research and I saw yellow ones. So you could do red and yellow pumpkins, one or the other, doesn't matter. Um, I did see some really weird ones, but uh, I saw purple, but I don't know if that's real or not. It was hard to tell. It could be photoshopped. But you could do like a um, different pop colored ones. I think that would be cool. So if I was doing the five by five, which we are stitching out today, Jenny Owens, thank you very much. And Dilbeck says, congrats to Beatrice. B, B graduated um, from nursing. So it's very exciting. Four years of university done. And we're um, super happy for her. It's great. Now she's got to get her license and get her butt to work. And that's about it. it all, it's all good. I'm glad it's over. It's been 10 years of putting my two kids through university. I've had enough. <laughs> not to mention them but it's just financially whoo it's uh it's tough does b have a job she probably will nurses are in good demand she might even work with her sister we don't know but she can't get a job until she gets her license so yeah hope she gets this soon yeah probably july it's a bit nerve-wracking so um, thank you so much for the donations. Jenny says, you're welcome. Thank you so much for these live shows. My favorite thing to do. This is awesome. Jennifer says, congrats, B. Welcome to the club. I'm also an RN. Okay, Jennifer, that's awesome. I knew there was a reason why I liked you. Ha, 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 ha. So Pamela says, I love doing quilt blocks on the embroidery machine. Always wanted to do a drunkard's path. I know. This may be just what I need to do it. Now, if you wanted to do a plain drunkard's path, 
uh, using this pattern you could. I personally love this. I don't know how well you... Oh, now you can see it. Look at the quilting on it. I think that looks spectacular. I just used red because it was awesome. But all you would have to do is skip some of the stitches. And all you need is this green. You don't have to do it in green. But um, uh, you don't have to stitch these parts. These are just to make it look like a watermelon. And you can do it that way. And you know what? Like I was saying before, do a pop layout so all different colors and I think that would look great so another time where my charm squares kick in it's fantastic fantastic so just fun super fun I really like this um I meant to print out some um um, um pictures of what you can do with a drunkard's path but just google it drunkard's path quilts and you can see it, it is really a lot of fun and while you're at it take a look at the history of the block that's one of the things I love to do so anyways I think we should get started I didn't print them out because I was busy stitching this guy out I only got him finished like three minutes before <laughs> before I started this so that's what we're doing today. We should get at it. Blah, 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 says Sue. There we go. So we are going to go to my brother Luminaire and Full Bobbin. I just changed it because I was really, really down to the last. Um, I'm guessing just regular embroidery thread. What kind of thread did you use in the black? Just regular. Everything's just regular embroidery thread that uh, we normally use nothing different um the pattern is what i like on it it's pretty cool i've got black in right now but i've got the nice soft cutaway uh no show mesh i don't need to use the heavy duty because this isn't you know all stitching sort of thing um yeah just red just just as a matter of fact this red this one right here and that's my exquisite thread so it's just red just red um and i'm doing the smallest one because i always like this did we show the nails oh they're the same as monday but thank you i really like this design they're sparkly and flowers and the whole bit and interesting colors so this one is kind of like an orange and silver and then this one is kind of a pinky with blue so yes there we go there we go um thank you for the reminder shannon uh tomorrow hopefully if i get some time i'll change them so mug rug monday will be new nails so fun so 7511 needle regular embroidery thread you don't need anything fancy on it and uh let's get stitching so we're gonna do the five by five as i said so nothing different i always use the 7511 needle i know you guys i know you can change it i just don't the other thing i don't do is i don't change the speed of my machine now why because the machine is smart enough to know when to speed up and when to slow down so there's no point doing it if i need something to slow down then I am just going to hold the uh, green button, the green go button, and it'll go a lot slower than you let go and it stitches how it wants. So I don't bother with anything like that. I don't change tension either. There's no need to change the tension. Change the thread, clean out your bobbin, do all that kind of stuff. That is how you fix the tension. If you start messing with the tension, it's going to be a mess really quickly. So I don't recommend it. Summer nails. Yes. Yes. I enjoy Mug Rug Monday. Yeah, it's it's so much fun. I'll be less busy this Monday. Well, Judy Quilt, we did miss you. We will be looking forward to it. So now is the fun part to have an embroidery machine because we're going to do this as an applique, which is so cool. I like the size of this one. I really do. You can get AccuQuilt dies 
Um, I didn't look at it before, but it should be pretty close to this, and that would make everything super fast, too. So these are the two parts that make up the drunkard's path. Uh, the outside, we'll call it. Now make sure when you're laying this down that you leave fabric for a seam allowance. Now I probably should have cut my batting, but meh, what are you going to do? So I want seam allowance everywhere. The only part that I don't care about is the inside. So just lay it on there. Beautiful. I'm having fun with this black swirly fabric. It's awesome. I like it. So you won't be able to see the black too well. Nothing like stitching black on black. So instead of worrying about stitching on the curves, I'm just going to give it a trim. You can see where the indents are, which is awesome. Awesome. Susan Williams. Hi, Sue, and everyone finally made it. Glad you could make it. Welcome, welcome. Drunkard's Path is what we're talking about today. One of my favorite quilt blocks. Goes way back in time. It's a brilliant one. A, a square cut in two parts. And there's so much you can do with it. So we're going to go back to the desk for a minute. And we're going to trim this. Now you don't have to, but I think it's uh, good because you don't want it too thick. So you guys probably can't see my stitches. Looks like I have a teeny bit of bobbin showing through. So that would mean I need to give it a clean up, which I'll do after this video. So seam allowance, seam allowance here, seam allowance. The inside we don't um, we don't <coughs> have to have a seam allowance, so I trimmed it. So, are you planning on making a wall hanging with all those shadow box designs that you purchased? I am. I am. Yes, I am. Jesse Gibson, good morning. So, back to the machine then. See, it's so fast and easy to do. And AccuQuilt, I believe, has two different size dies for the Drunkard's Path. I think I have one of them. I'm going to sort out my stuff. Um, but yes, I think a wall hanging or something. I mean, you could even make a quilt with the shadow boxes. So this is just applique. You can't do folded fabric for curves. So it's just an applique. And like I said, remember, you can use different colors. You don't have to have um, red. But... I do think red looks nice. So again, when we're laying it down, we want to make sure that everything's covered. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Make sure everything's covered. The only part we don't have to work worry about is this because we're going to cut it. So I want, yes, make sure I have enough for the seam allowance. And then we'll do a quick trim. And it's almost done. So you could also very easily pre-cut them. Pre-cut these on like your cutter. Or like I said, AccuQuilt. Jeez, that was a bit close there. <laughs> Isabel, thank you very much, Isabel. I appreciate it so much. Every little bit helps. Once B gets working, it'll be a big help too. I'm managing. I'm managing. Ooh, I did a recorded video on the mountains. So I'm going to get that finished up like a, a demo of, of how to put it together. So I will get that to you guys. I'm, I'm going to be able to do more stuff like that. So there should be a video for just about every design. Um, I'm going to work on it. So yeah, then the mountains is a lot of fun to stitch. So again, another trim, which is awesome. So just two easy applique pieces. Isn't that awesome? So just like that now, if you wanted to just do like this, then skip to the cover stitches and you'll be, oh, well, you want to do these too, but skip to the cover stitches and you can be done. So easy. That mountain shadow box demo will be a huge hit in the embroidery world. Yes, we all need to promote it when it's available. Oh, thank you so much, Judy Quilt. 
Yes, yes. I think these designs are the best I've done and I'm really happy with them. And I really love them too. So yeah, I will get that done. And like I've been telling you guys, I'm all yours. So yeah, we can do lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. So I'm taking my black off. This time I'm going to do green. I think the green will show up nicely. So I'm going to do the green for the quilting just to see. I don't want it to look too Christmassy, but I don't think it will at all. So let's see, though. I could be wrong, but they could be Christmas watermelons. Not in Canada, mind you, but... Or white would be another choice, or any color that you want. So it's a very quick quilting stitch, and I think it's just perfect. It just kind of sets everything off. See, it really shows a lot more. Uh, maybe. I don't think it looks too Christmassy. The green, you can see a whole lot better. Well, you guys can't, but I can. Yeah, you can see it when it comes into the light. Hot House Christmas watermelons in Canada. <laughs> no. Love the drunkard's path, says Davina. I know, I know. It's one of my favorite things. I don't know why I haven't done this one yet, but I love it. And it's so easy to do. So there you go. Now, if, again, if you wanted to skip all of the stuff, which we can actually do, why don't we do that just to be different while well, I've got the green in? So normally what we'd be stitching out would be the, let's move the camera, shot. What we'd be stitching out is just the white, and you can see it's a very light stitch um very light stitch and i did it that way so the color underneath will show through because it's not pure white and i like to do things a bit differently and then this is just a light stitch just to make a separation and then this is the cover stitch so if you just wanted a plain one we are going to skip right over to the cover stitch and get that going on so i'll zoom in again so if you don't want to make all of them watermelons you can still use this pattern for um just plain old drunkers path there's your get out of free get out of jail free card i might be a little bit off right here can you see how the red shows through that's how you can get perfect applique because you can just fix it now i'm thinking the satin stitches are a bit wider, so I might be okay. I'm going to be okay till about here, and then we'll have to see for this part. I wasn't quite as neat. Um, just purchased week three new Kingstar metallic thread colors. They are amazing. Love the new green. I didn't know there was a new green. I'm going to have to look. I probably have a lot, though. See? See? Now look, if you did this one, let's see, hold on, what if, you guys will love this, what if for this part you did this, and you did this part in gold, the cover stitches in gold, and black even for the background, and maybe gold for the stitching, the quilting stitches, uh, boom that would look awesome if you have a Christmas one this is gilded Christmas it's one of my favorite packs I wish I could find it in larger and you know yardage but um, you could use a different one all over the place yeah a Christmas drunkards path quilt and super easy at this size super easy with charm squares now bigger size you could use a layer cake but isn't that clever with gold and um red even or the green king star metallic i think that's spectacular so super ideas and now look we have done our drunkards path just plain 
we skipped all the watermelon stuff. If you wanted to do the watermelon stuff, you could do it now. But we're going to leave it at that because, look, we're done. So that took, let's see, if you're doing all the stitching, it takes 14 minutes. Um, it's 8,134 stitches. If you're doing just this part, which looks amazing, it's 11 minutes. So you can do a quilt block in 11 minutes. So let's go back to the machine, to the desk, I mean. But look at that. See, it's versatile just by skipping parts. Now look at that green in there. Now I happen to have at my desk, let's take a look at that. I happen to have some King Star. So let me grab my, oh, there it is, Christmas piece. And we're just going to pretend it's there. Isn't that beautiful? So gold for the cover stitches. See the nice sheen on it. And you could do gold for this part too, for the quilting stitches. Um, Paula says, your nails are beautiful. Congrats to Beatrice. Thank you, thank you, um, on both accounts. So green, and of course, I have the uh, Christmas red as well, which looks stunning with this. So yeah, just by changing up the uh, fabric, you can make a whole different design. I'm just going to look at my dash here and see if I got other ones to sh whoops whoops knocked all my mini charm squares down let me see if I have more gilded Christmas ones well not handy but anyways um there's lots you can do with this now of course I think Halloween but you could change it up and do something like this so it's flowers and all the colors match and there's usually two of each so you could put two together and it's a um, beautiful color set but you could just take them throw them on there you go go to the next one ooh wouldn't the stripes look good just wait uh there we go this is from Missouri Star um, Zinnia it's called there we go just as an idea though but doesn't this make it super easy to do now, I love this. I love this. Just plain is just fine. And again, check out the different ways you can put them together because you can make some really cool patterns. Um, I'm just going to have to say it here because I'm me. But how about Halloween colors? You, you know I had to. Come on. You know I had to. Or a little bit of Halloween fabric uh let's see purple i don't have any halloween charm squares those are actually kind of hard to find but i do have my dresden table mat here that i was practicing wah i almost knocked everything over there we go there we go um you can see wouldn't that be cute those fabrics I like it let's see that might show it better is that pretty I like it so so versatile different patterns different colors <laughs> you wouldn't be sue if you didn't think Halloween I was actually really trying not to but I had to it's just one of those things um, I just kind of had to so watermelons now I'll make oranges and then you can make lemons and limes. It could be summer picnic, I kind of called it. So uh, either watermelon or look at that, just plain or the Christmas. It's absolutely awesome. So beautiful. I love these quilting stitches. Um, Sue, can you do a version with the stippling in the red part? I know it's the watermelon version, but not if doing it plain. Oh, you want this to be stippling? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Um, Drunkard's Path for every season. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm thinking pop art too. Um, like uh, Andy Warhol. That style. 
having a black background and then bright colors like in my Kona solids, uh, I think that would be really cool. Can you guys picture that? Super cool. And yes, I can do stippling instead of this part. It's easy. So stippling in the red part. Oh, in here. Ah, that's a good idea. That's fine. Yeah. Because then it would, uh, we do need a little bit of quilting on it. So yeah, for sure. I'm always up for ideas. I can add that in. And if you've already purchased it, then, oh, wait, there is stippling in the red area. Ah, ha, ha, ha. See the stippling? I skipped it and I took it out. So there is stippling in the red area. So, um, yeah, so there is. We just have to go to it. Um, I'm going to just double check that theory and make sure. Oh, no, there isn't in this size because the um, the seeds take up most of it. But the other sizes, there is stippling in the red part. So it is there. See, it is there. Just not in the smaller one because the seeds take up most of this part. So I just didn't do it. Um, lots of fun, super simple, uh, quilt block, easy to do. I mean, you could sit there, uh, and get it done really quickly, but yes, I can do, I know what you're saying. I can do, um, a plain one. So just remember if you're skipping, it's only these two parts and the seeds you're skipping because there is stippling on the bigger ones. So it's perfect. So yeah, give the video a like, please. Uh, it really helps out. Thank you for the donations. Uh, everything helps. <laughs> for sure, everything helps. Um, I will be getting that video on this. I will be getting it done. And I just got to tweak up my turtle dude a little bit. I may stitch him out uh, with the proper uh, cutaway on uh, the 10 needle and see how that works out. So it's a lot of fun. So Drunkard's Path, you can do anything with it. Watermelons are just so cute. So if you have any questions on this, and I will fix up this size for you guys, um, then head on over to the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, and I would be happy to answer questions. And don't be afraid to answer questions. There are a ton of very, very helpful people in the group and everyone will help you out. Thank you, Sue, for all your hard work and sharing your talents. Yeah, you're very much appreciated. Everyone have a great weekend. Yeah, it's Saturday. Movie night with Lynn. I don't know where Lynn is, but I'll talk to her later. So I'm going to work on this and you guys should be working on this and definitely be working on this because it is a lot of fun, easy to do. And, uh, I might do keep doing this one. I think it's uh, really cute, really easy to do. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like this video, please. It really helps out. Doesn't cost you anything, just a like or a share. That's all you need. I'm going to do pop colors, by the way. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Next video is Mug Rug Monday. Woohoo. Bye.